in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all rejoice in the Lord, as we celebrate the feast today in honor of all the saints, at whose festival the angel rejoice and praise the Son of God. Brothers and sisters in Christ. The traditional All Saints Day is the 1st of November. But in some countries, All Saints is celebrated on a Saturday or Sunday, close to the 1st of November. In Finland, All Saints was celebrated uh, this year, yesterday, Saturday, the 2nd of November. November. The psalm of the day is Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it upon the seas, and it established it upon the waters. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? who may stand in his holy place. He who has clean hands and a poor heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false. He will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God his Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion, in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in their lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible choice you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Gospel today is from St. Matthew chapter 5. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the poor in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made the salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. 
You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the day of all saints that is in our thoughts today. Saints, we know what it means. Through the history of the church, there has been and still is men and women who have been considered to be especially holy. Some of them have in the calendar a special day, a day of their own, so to speak. And then the 1st of November is a day for all of them, saints, the holy persons. In their lives they have in some very special ways shown that they are followers of Christ. They have shown what it means to make the Christian life real in the everyday life. When I think about saints, these holy persons, and when I read about them, I have two main thoughts in my mind. Very briefly, they are first. Those persons, saints, they are an example for me. I am not saying that I could become a saint, but they give also for me an idea how to practice the Christian life, life as a disciple of Christ. And number two, their lives testify about the faithfulness of God and the Savior. They have put their trust in God, and God has been faithful in taking care of them. In the same way, I can trust in the faithfulness of God. He takes care of me. Now let us pray. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of heaven and earth. In the multitude of your saints, you have surrounded us with so great a cloud of witnesses that we rejoicing in their fellowship may run with patience the race that is set before us and together with them receive the crown of glory that never fades away. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all who have served you in every age, we raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Dear God, thank you for the example of the saints. I desire to join in their company, worshipping you forever in heaven. Please help me follow their footsteps and yours, Jesus Christ. Please help me to conform myself to your image, seeking your will in all things, as the saints did. Please help me to devote myself and all that I do to your glory and to the service of my neighbors. Father of all, we pray to you for those we love but see no longer. Grant them your peace. Let light perpetual shine upon them, 
and in your loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of your perfect will. So we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of mercy, throughout history, your goodness prevails. Open the hearts of all people to find you and your mercy that endures forever.